today's service. Uh, today I want to talk about, um, I want to encourage you today that you are special to God. But before we do that, I want you to watch this cartoon segment and enjoy it. And make sure you invite your friends and you tag them to watch with you. Yeah, karibuni. Everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called God Wins. The memory verse is from 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 6. It says, Nothing can hinder the Lord from saving. Today's message is God gives me the victory. I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. Have you ever felt that way? When things are too hard, whom do you ask for help? Jonathan knew who to ask. Here's his story. King Saul's army was camped under a tree near Gibeah. The Philistines were camped nearby in a narrow pass in the mountains. Every day, the Philistines sent out soldiers to harm the Israelites and to steal from them. The Philistines had hundreds of chariots and thousands of well-armed soldiers. The Israelite army of 600 men was small and afraid. None of the Israelite soldiers had swords or spears. Only Saul and Jonathan had them. The Israelite soldiers had plows, hoes, axes, and sickles for weapons. But you don't win wars with farm tools. Because of this, many of the Israelite soldiers were afraid. So they hid in holes and behind rocks. But not Jonathan, the son of King Saul. He alone thought that God could win the battle. One day, Jonathan whispered to the soldier who carried his heavy shield, Come with me. The armor bearer knew at once that Jonathan had a secret plan. He quickly dressed and followed Jonathan out of the camp. Nobody heard them leave. We can get to the Philistine lookout if we take the pass between the mountains, Jonathan explained. God will get us past the guards and give us victory. Nothing can stop God from saving us. You lead the way, the armor bearer said. I'll be right behind you. Let's go, Jonathan said, starting down the pass. If when they see us, they tell us to wait for them to come down, we will wait. But if they say, come up to us, we know that this is a sign that the Lord will give us a victory. After a slow, hard hike, Jonathan and his armor bearer reached the pass. Boldly, they stepped forward in full view of the Philistine guards. Look, 
one of the guards cried out. The Israelites are crawling out of their holes. Come on up so we can teach you a lesson, another shouted. That's our sign, Jonathan whispered. God has given them into our hands. So the two began climbing up that steep cliff. When they got to the top, Jonathan walked forward. His armor bearer was right behind him. Twenty Philistine guards suddenly attacked in just a small space. But Jonathan and his armor bearer knew God would help them. The Philistines were quickly defeated. Other guards watching from the tops of the cliffs panicked and became confused when they saw what happened. They shouted down to tell the soldiers in the Philistine camp, and then those soldiers panicked. Even the chariot drivers panicked. In their confusion, they began to push and fight one another as they ran in every direction. The ground shook as if a great army with horsemen and chariots were coming. Jonathan, his armor-bearer, and the Philistines knew that God was helping Israel. When King Saul and his six hundred soldiers came upon the scene, Jonathan and his armor-bearer stood quietly watching the Philistines run away. The soldiers of Israel knew they had won because God had won the battle for them. This day the Lord has rescued us, they said. Jonathan and his armor-bearer agreed. The Lord had won a great victory. Nothing had stopped God from saving them. Boys and girls, welcome to our today's uh, online service. I hope you've had a great, great and amazing and fantastic and whatever else stick you've had. Uh, welcome to our today's service. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, you being special to God. So let us pray as we begin our service. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to fellowship and to listen to your word. May you speak to us today. This we pray and give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Mara nyingine, boys and girls, karibuni sana kwa ibada yetu ya watoto. I hope mmekua na time fiti. So, leo nataka kuongea about how special we are to God and what makes us special to God. Uh, vile we uko ukiwa nyumbani, whether you're white or you're black, you're, what, what other color uh, do people have? Okay, whichever color you are, uh, whichever tribe you are, whether you're uh, thin or you're big, um, you're special to God. And so today I want to show you how you're special to God and what that means um, to you and also uh, to God. So uh, let us read from... Psalm 139, Psalm 139, verse 13, and also verse 14. Um, the Bible says, uh, For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Uh, also, let's read verse 15. It says, My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So, um, uh, as I, I conclude that reading, we can also look at verse uh, 17, which says, How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. So, from what we've just read from Psalm uh, 139, uh, I want to encourage you today, Kwamba, wewe ni mtoto special kwa God. And uh, being special to God ni kitu ya maana sana. Unajua, sisi wote, we are special. We are special uh, in, in the eyes of our mothers, our fathers, you know, our friends and all that. But above all else, sisi ni watu special in the eyes of God. And so the big question I have for us today is, what makes us special to God? Nini nakufanya ukwe mtu special kwa God? Na 
kitu ya kwanza yenye tunaona tukiangalia hiyo verse 13 we are special to god because he's the one who made us so kama god aliku make kama god aliku create it means that you are special to him so hiyo verse 13 ina show kwamba you are special to god because he made you the second thing that makes you special to god ni ukiangalia the same chapter that is uh, psalm 139 verse 2 uh, to verse 4 bible inasema o oh lord you have searched me and you know me you know when i sit and when i rise you perceive my thoughts from afar you design my th uh, my going out and my lying down you are familiar with all my ways before a word is on my tongue you know it completely o oh lord so Kitu ingine ambayo inafanya, sisi ni watu special to God. Ni because God knows every single detail concerning our lives. God anajua kila kitu. God anakujua. Ukitoka inje, na pia hata ukirudi ndani ya hao. God anakujua. God anajua thoughts zako. Sa hizi, venye unafikiria, kenye iko kwa akili yako, kenye unatry kufikiria right now. God anajua. You are special to him because he knows you. He knows every single detail concerning life yako. Na pia, ajui tu mawazo yako, ajui words zako, ajui tu venye tu unatoka inje na unarudi, anajua mpaka all the days of your life. God anajua utaishi miaka ngapi. God anajua utaishi, utakuwa na birthdays ngapi in this life. You are special to God and he knows every single detail concerning your life. Kitu ingine yenye inafanya kwamba wewe ni mtu special kwa God, I want us to look at Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. Um, Matthew chapter 10. Inatuonyesha kwamba we are special to God more than the birds of the air. God anajua everything that we are in need of. Tukiangalia verse uh, 30 na verse 31. Mm, verse, uh, Matthew chapter 10 verse 30 and also verse 31. Inasema, even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. So, kitu ingine tunona hapa ni kwamba, you are special to God and he cares about you. Anajua ata nyueleze nyeziko kwa kichwa yako. Anajua the birds of the air. Anajua kila kitu. And Bible inasema kwamba, he knows all these things and so he cares about us. So one of the things that makes us special to God ni because unona, um, tumesa, tumona first ana, nearly to create, number two anajua kila kitu about us, anajua whatever we need. Anajua tuna need food, anajua tuna need clothes, anajua tuna need protection. And so we are special to him. That makes us special to God. He cares about us. From Matthew chapter 10, you have verse 13 and 31, in a show kwamba, we are special to God and he cares about us. The way he cares about the birds of the air. He cares about, you know, the grass. Ile nyasi uko ivo. God ana, ana care about it. Ana care about douche. You know, douche too. Ndege tu wangani. God ana care about that. Lakini Bible nina tushu kwamba. He cares about us more than the birds of the air. So, yo ni kitu ina to make tukwe watu special in the eyes of God. Then something else, tukiangalia... John chapter 10, verse 3. God anakujua kwa jina yako. Kama we ni wangare, God anajua wewe unaitwa wangare. Kama wewe ni omosh, God anajua jina yako ni omosh. Asemi we, nani? Uh -uh. Anajua mpaka jina yako. So that means that you're special to God. You're special to God because anajua mpaka jina yako. Anajua whatever name you're called. So tuneza angalia hiyo John chapter 10, verse 3. Uh, John chapter 10, John chapter 10 verse 3, inasema, the watchman opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. So unona, God, first he created you. He is the one who made you, so you are special to him. Secondly, tumona, God anajua kila detail about your life. Mbaka nyuele zako. Anajua. So that makes you special to him. The third thing to know na hapa ni kwamba, God cares for you. He cares every, he cares about everything about life yako. Anakea. Diomana anamekshua pia, amekuprovidea. 
anajua una need food, anajua una need clothes, anajua una need shelter. That's why he cares na ame make sure ame provide all that. Then tumona from hiyo John chapter 10 verse 3, you are special to God cause tunona God anajua mpaka jina yako. Jina yako itself, hata hiyo nickname yako. Kama mimi wase wananijua kama uh, teacher Kachel, teacher Nashpai, you know God ananijua by name. Anajua anaitwa Elizabeth Kalechenzaku, aka Kachel, Nashpai, all that. So God knows you. You're special to him. Lastly, tukiangalia John 3:16. All of us know this. Inasema for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So you're special to God because he loves you. He loves you to the extent that he gave his only begotten son. That is Jesus Christ. Yani, hakuna God mwingine kwa religions zote za world mwenye anaeza penda ulimwengu the way our God, Jehovah, the God of Israel, the way Ali to love. And that's why Akapeana is only begotten son. And so that brings me to the conclusion of our service today. Kama God alikumake, God anakujua, God anakujua by your name, tena God anakea about you, na anakulove. The big question is, do you love him? Yeah? Do you have that personal relationship? Na yeye. Vile ya na kujua. Pia wewe ungetaka kumjua. Na kukua na that personal relationship na God. If so, I want to make a prayer for you. And if wherever you are watching from, I, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, um, Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. And I ask you for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and you rose from the dead. I turn from my sin and invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. This I pray in Jesus name. Amen. So wherever you are, remember God knows you. God loves you. He made you. He knows every single detail about your life and he cares about you. Enjoy a lovely fantastic week ahead. Thank you. Yes, una stay safe. Hallelujah.